I would like to talk about an interesting subject today. It's about how do blind lobsters find their way back to their home. And we know that migrating animals, they always charm the researchers with their intelligent behaviors and their planned moves. Some animals like monarch butterflies, some birds, salmon fish, and can, uh, they can find their way back to home in a long distances. And they always find their way back to home. They never uh, um, do mistakes. And researchers found out that another creature who can do this, and this is the blind lobsters, which we know that Panalurus argus species is one of them. And these prickly lobsters are found near the Caribbean. And researchers have shown that they can not only mark their pets, but also they can reach their destinations wherever they are put. And I want to show some photos of mm -hmm. these lobsters. Larry C. Bowles and uh, Kenneth J. Lowman, researchers from North Carolina University, organized a series of experiments and uh, to examine the navigation talent that the lobsters have. Lobsters that were captured in the Caribbean were distanced 12 to 37 kilometers from their point of the capture point. They made sure that to keep these lobsters from seeing anything, they closed the eyes of these lobsters. And lobsters were placed in containers with partitions filled with seawater. The containers were covered and transported to tasting sites via circuitous routes. And in order to prevent from them to perceiving the environment, some disorienting tricks were employed. And for instance, containers were suspended by ropes and swinging erratically. And in order to prevent these lobsters from navigating by using the Earth's magnetic field and find a compass, and strong magnets were used to establish complicated magnetic fields in a container. And after all these tricks and disorientations, the lobsters were released into the sea. And despite the fact that the ice were covered with a particular plastic material, the lobsters were able to ascertain the direction of their capture site and move homewards. Mashallah, it's amazing. Uh, they, can, they don't see anything, but they can go back to their home. We are talking about 12 to 37 yeah. kilometers here, but they can find their way back home. Mashallah. Mashallah. And scientists observed that the lobsters had wasted no time being puzzled. Of course, there's a question here. What is the source of uh, such a splendid talent? Yes, mashallah. And some researchers think that, that living beings use the Earth's magnetic fields to navigate. The scientists assume that there is a kind of compass hidden in the body of these living beings. And nevertheless, comparing the compass to this talent is inadequate. Charles Walcott, a professor of neurobiology and behavior at Cornell University in New York, said about this. We know that lots of animals use Earth's magnetic field as compass. But if you become lost, a compass cannot tell you where you are. Yes. And uh, lobsters navigate by uh, magnetism, study says uh, January 6, uh, 2003. This is the uh, work which is the uh, quote from. Yes, yes and uh, the researcher Boyles emphasizes the superiority of uh, the, this talent of the lobsters like this. It's precisely the test that most animals fail. Once they pass, it implies that they uh, somehow know where they are all the time. That's, this is something is uh, built in yes. their body, mashallah. Mashallah. And as a result, the lobs from magnetic grab within their bodies can follow the coordinates since the capture point. And the mechanism which remains unsolved by the scientists work like the electronic radar systems in an aeroplane. And scientists were most surprised to find out that these lobsters supplied with a splendid system. Mashallah. Yes. And they have a really complex neural system also. Bowles also uh, comments this op uh, upon this. He said that, I think that a big issue is a general thought that invertebrates, because of their relatively simple nervous systems, might not have the necessary mental capacity to do this kind of thing. For lobsters to achieve all of this great miracle, it's impossible we can say yes. that these little creatures with uh, no soul, with no conscious can do something like this. It's obvious we see here that it's the creation of our Lord Allah, mashallah. And now we should all ask ourselves some questions and think about it. Imagine yourself in a large desert. Let's think about it. And imagine, imagine that you are taken into the jeep with a drop via 200 kilometers away after being transported via circuitous route with your eyes and ears closed. There is a place that you have never seen, never have gone. And we, you will be taken there with your eyes closed, your ears closed. And will you be able to get back to the capture point? It's impossible. Yes, yes. You can yes. never go back to the capture point. But these little animals can do this with the will of Allah, mashallah. 
and how is the particular navigation system formed in the lobsters? If you consider the simplest compass ever, it's crystal clear that even uh, that is the particularly designed. When we think about the compass, there is a magnetic field on the compass, the needle on the compass, the particularly marked direction, the glass cover. These are all the signs showing us that this is a particular tool of work of design. It came from the factories. It's designed. There is a design design here, and it's obvious that this particular system in the lobster's body superior in comparison to compass and these are all the signs of the systems of this lobster that have is been created mashallah. Yes, mashallah and the superior system that lobsters have we cannot fully adopt our technology cannot be explained by chances the theory of evolution claims that the emergence of the living things lean on the blind chances it's something yes. very funny yes. to claim and this is a very foolish and nonsense idea even claiming something like this to let alone thinking and say it even loud and it's obvious that there's a superior intelligence, there's a superior creation behind the, all these animals, behind all living beings. And it's our Lord Allah, Alhamdulillah. And Allah created the lobster and supplied with this particular system. The Almighty Allah, the creator of all beings, He is the initiator in the most perfect way. I want to read a verse, uh, I seek refuge with Allah from the curse Satan. Uh, he is Allah, the creator, the maker, the giver of forms. Uh, to him belong the most beautiful names. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorifies him. He is almighty, all wise. From Sul al, uh, Surah Al Hash, uh, verse 224. MashaAllah. Masha and since we talked about lobsters, I'd like to show you a short video about it. In this video, we will see a lobster fossil. It's not a Panarus Argus lobster, but it's a lobster mm -hmm. fossil. And we will see that it's a 146 seven years, a million years old fossil, and nothing has changed. I now have in my hand another fossil that refutes the theory of evolution. This one is of a lobster, and paleontologists have established this fossil's age at around 146 million years. As you can see clearly, this fossil is completely identical to lobsters living in the present day. Its tail structure, body and legs, for example, are all clearly preserved. And its pincers, of course, have also survived in a very clear, distinct and perfectly preserved form. And fossils are one of the greatest evidences that these animals have always been the same and as they were that they're today. Evolutionists have some claims that the living things have been evolved in time and changed in time, but they have no proof at all. But we have proofs. We always so yes. show that. Mm -hmm. We watched the video in yes. the fossil. Nothing has changed. 146 yes. million years, nothing has changed. Same lobster. And it, we have the proof. So we are waiting for evolutionists to put their proof on yes. the table. We can put yes. it. And they have only imaginary drawings and their own logical theories, nothing. They have all, yes. only lying. It's yes. so humiliating for them, but and they keep still taking like yes, this. Yes, and that's why when they see the real fossils, they get mad. Yes. <laughs> because real fossils always uh, proves the creation, all the time. Yes. yes. And the living things we all see around them all ca uh, came into being existence by the will of Allah, and they are the creation of our Lord Allah. Nothing is about the chain of coincidences or came into being as a result yes. of chance. Allah created all the living beings, all the living things, and uh, all the living things has never been changed. Yes. MashaAllah. And all of them are perfect. Yes, MashaAllah. Yes, MashaAllah.